Hello and welcome to Kingsbridge, a Thief 2 fan mission by Ita Nauta. Loving this spooky music here. Let's read the briefing while that plays. My informant had assured me I could find the paintings, three to be exact, here in the town of Kingsbridge. I stopped for the night at a seedy tavern there with mystical lights. Upon awakening I found myself locked in the city dungeon. Apparently, the plague had arrived in Kingsbridge, and as a stranger and new arrival, I was thought to be the culprit. Without having stolen even a single gold coin, I was wanted all over the city by the local militia. Someone had served me up on a silver platter, and I couldn't even steal the platter. Kingsbridge is known as the best refuge from the plague. They've adopted a unique system. At the first sign of the disease, all entrances to the city are closed. No one can come in, and no one can get out. This is a fine strategy if the fever is beyond the walls, but in this case the plague was already here. I couldn't escape, and they were convinced that I was the one that had brought the disease here. But the true culprit was still out there somewhere, and I had to find him if I was going to prove that I wasn't the one responsible, that by the time I had arrived the dance of death had already begun. Kingsbridge. Escape from Kingsbridge's dungeon, find and steal a painting from three Kingsbridge counts. And when all your goals completed, go to your room and rest. Oh. Well, that doesn't line up with the briefing. Let's see. Don't kill any innocents, or don't kill anyone. Well, let's push no plague or freedom. I mean, we've got to try freedom, right? We've got to try and get freedom. We don't want to stay a prisoner. We certainly don't want to get catch the plague, so... I don't really have any choice. Oh, hello. What's this? I apologize for your predicament, but you see, the plague has come to Kingsbridge, and I needed someone to blame for it. For days, my brother has been hidden in the attic of his room at the inn. He fell ill three days ago. I thought it was a common cold. Then I recognized the symptoms of the disease. If I had told anyone, they would have thrown my brother into the city dungeon. When you arrived, a stranger in town, I saw my chance to prevent this. So I told the city watch that you were the plague carrier. But now I need your help. Unfortunately for us both, the three counts in this city appear to be in denial of the presence of plague in Kingsbridge, and have locked all the city gates ostensibly to prevent its arrival. But it is already here, so you will not be able to escape the city unless you can help to solve this problem and have the gates unlocked. Head to the Mystic Lights Tavern. The first door on the left, upstairs, is my room. You will find there, besides a flare, a potion to get rid of the insects of my brother. If you can, find my brother and pour the potion on his body. Then drop the flare at the door of the tavern to signify that the tavern is a plague site. Your equipment is still in your room at the tavern. In Bridgewater you'll find a shop that sells potions and another that sells different types of arrows. Here water arrows make no sense. You'll understand. If you want the city gates reopened, you'll need to get rid of Kingsbridge. You'll need to rid Kingsbridge of the plague. You can start by removing the bugs from all infested people and leaving a flare outside the front door of their homes. Most people in town keep emergency flares in their homes, so you should have no trouble finding enough for your purposes. Also, a friend of mine, Petrina, has discovered the cause of the plague, but when she told the authorities of her discoveries, she was thrown into the city jail. I fear for her life. I'm not sure why, but someone doesn't want the plague cured. Petronilla's house is in church quarter. You may find information there that will help you. I am sorry for this, but your success will allow both of us to escape from Kingsbridge and remain free. Lucretia. Can I? Thank you. I don't want to lockpick the candle, I want to douse it. Wow, my own toilet. This is quite a friendly dungeon. Very noisy uh, ambience. I haven't spilled blood. I don't know who you're talking about. So I have nothing on me at all except the lockpicks and the compass. Unfortunately, oh, and the look bread and cheese, I suppose. And an empty loot pouch, that's an interesting uh, start. Unfortunately, it's not the right 
And it comes. Oh, what the hell? This is an enormous place with a ridiculous number of annotations on it. Okay. Um, where even is the jail? Not shown. Alright, we got. We'll check this out. Uh, this misery, you say, is others' good. Yes, from my mouldering body shall be born a thousand worms. Alright, uh, we'll check out the readout on the accounts and stuff once we get out of the jail. It's fountains, tavern, Kingsbridge Creek, bridge, arrow shop, the wells, candles. A candle shop, okay. Potion shop is there, Hamrick Church Cemetery. I. But it, where am I? There's gotta be a guard somewhere, right? I mean, I can hear the footsteps, I don't know if they're coming this far, and if they do, if I don't have any way to escape, so I'm gonna... Maybe a little... It does seem like they don't come all this way. Oh, there's the stairs, right. They might not even be on this floor. I might be hearing them coming down the stairs. be a way out of here. An awful lot of bones in here, don't they ever clean up? Don't the relatives ever want to claim their... Rats squeaking noisily. Oh, this is a wooden staircase. Yeah, so they're not coming down the stairs. I would have heard the, heard the difference in their footsteps. Is that you? Oh, there's nowhere I can hide here, right? Nothing, I guess. You wonder if I can open that door. It looks locked. You know what, let's go check out that downstairs bit, because it might not be a way out, it might just, I don't know. Oh, but if I get dropped down there, I'm not going to be able to climb back up again, am I? Hmm. Yeah, I think not, okay. Um, I'm not sure why all the objectives are labeled new, because, I mean, they're all just kind of the objectives I start with, more or less. What's that I see? It is the right lockpick, but we have such a short window. I could have found a nice tibia or something to wallop by his head with. Didn't have time to fumble for uh, putting the lockpicks away there. Luckily they don't pay these guards to be too observant. Oh, it's another cell. This is Petronilla. Okay. Oh, but she has a key. All right, that could be a value. Hmm. All right. 
right, well, I don't think I can do anything with the other doors. I just want to have one more look at them. They don't even have outlets, right? They're fake doors. Okay, down we go now. Uh, if I'm supposed to do any, am I supposed to do anything with Petronilla? I mean, was she asleep? I don't know. I got a key. I don't, did I? Did I try picking her up? I guess I should try. Right, I can't. Okay. Not sure if she's alive or not, but... We certainly can't do anything for her right here and now. I mean, leave her some food, I suppose. If I have... If she's in ill, in Ill health, maybe some more bread will help. I don't know. Time for us to escape. If we can. Hey, Skull. Oh, we could rope our way back up here if we had a rope arrow. Okay, that's that's worth noting. We might be able to get back in. We can't get back in now. Oh, it's snowing. Skip the dungeon. Get your equipment from your room in the Mystic Lights Tavern. Leave a front door at the leave a flare at the front door of each plague house. Remove insects from sick people. Visit the potion store in our shop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, let's have a look. We are facing south. What is this room? Oh. That's already a plague house, so it's on fire, okay. Right, but this seems to be the northeast corner of town. No, northeast corner of some part of town. Oh, he's dead. What's he played? Are you played? Breezy John is Breezy. Do you have a name? I do not. I'll take the flare, but I probably don't want to. I wish I knew where it was, so I could know, have an idea of how to get to any of the places I'm trying to get to. Get through here? Just barely. Alright, I'm gonna... It's nice that they've got... You know, fancy custom ambience, but it's too loud. This is like... This always seems to be the case for uh, missions that put <gasps> custom music in, is they just make it very loud. Carrot. Carrot, are you stuck? What? What? Oh god, I can't, I can't crouch. I can't get off. Oh, there we go. The, the bloody uh, roof being there. What's... Nearly stuck. All right, Dionysius Green's flare. Oh, the Dionysius Green is he? The, is this his house? All oh, right, uh, he's just plagued. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. I wish I knew where I was because I don't need to mark this house. Where's the front door? I don't know. Is that his front door? Maybe. Need a landmark. This is madness. I need a landmark. I need to mark his place on the map. Just remember to come back. 
for the uh, with the potions and stuff. Hello, is that a guard? It looks like it. Yeah. All right, he's walking around. Where's the other kid going? Oh, is there. Alright, so we're in a open archway. Is this a well? No, is this the fountain? Right. I think that's... I think that's what... Yeah, yeah, that's where we came out of the dungeon. Right, that's where the gate was. We couldn't get through... No, maybe not. Oh, it's that way we came out. And that looks like it's supposed to be a creek. If that's the fountain, hang on. East of us. Let me just check here. Then we come up through here. And if I say D. Put a number in, no, one. One, Dion, Dionysius. Oh, let's see what I'm typing. Green, infected. Actually, let me do that as a separate piece of text. Flare, I need to put a flare there. Okay. So here, to dungeon. Right. I think, I think that lines up. In which case, what's to the north there? I don't know. Just the wind, I guess. There's a closed gate there, okay. This really should have been four maps, one for each quarter, with much, a little more detail, a little more easy to see what's streets and what's not, and without text obscuring half of it, unfortunately. So, I do appreciate a detailed map, but this one is cluttered, not detailed. So I guess we try and go south. When does this guy come back? So guy patrols in here. There he is. Very detailed streets. I'm hearing somebody up there as well, I think. Right, not just that guy. to hide here. Yeah? I guess it's do. So we come south. I mean, is it tavern here? I don't see anything look like a door it could open. Or was it the tavern to the east? Not sure.
This is the tower. This is the front door. I was standing in front of the front door. Okay. Let's have no unnecessary candles. They are probably looking for us here, right? But I saw something. Nah. No will. Guess it was nothing. Oh, there's a girl. Hello. There's a girl up there, too. Real cow. Ugly face. Didn't realize there was one on the upper floor. Oh well, I don't know what it was. I'd like to go explore over there, but let's see what we have. Which is my room. Uniforms are better. They got real good boots. Nice gold trim. Right, that's our guard friend. Oh, there's something <laughs> in the window there. <laughs> I'll see the latch. Alright, so I'm not going to be able to make it past him, right? If he's guarding my room, that's a problem. Uh, what's the rest? What else is on this floor? Just have the lights out if you can. Tavern's flare. Bugs. Bugs lotion. Okay. Uh, can we use that on everybody is the question. Is that reusable? I guess it probably is. What was the instruction say? Uh, right, her room. First one on the left. Besides a flare, a potion to get rid of the insects on my brother. If you can't find my brother, pour the potion on his body. Right, his brother's in the attic of the inn. What you say? Hidden in the attic of his room at the end. Which room is that? Maybe this one? That looks like it might be a. Uh, might be reachable. Yeah, but how do I get up there? Ropes, aren't they? Uh, all right, well, let's do a two here. Lucretia's brother. And then bugs. Let's do B. Come on, yeah. right? Bugs flare. Keep track of what we need to do. Did you see that? No, I didn't see anything. I'm imagining things no, again. No. I guess it was nothing. Cool. Just, just coals. Aha, uh -huh, repair. Okay, this is my room, I guess. This is my stuff. Yeah. Sword, blackjack, the other lockpick, a little bit of money. Maybe I can buy some stuff. Hello, is that something? No, it's a knot hole. So it's, did I stash something under the bed? No, I just kept all my stuff highly visible. So they're not guarding my room, particularly. Where, what are they guarding then? Oh, that's all just an open. Let's have the little, as few lights as possible. I guess they're just standing guard on the upper floor to watch the tavern. Hello. A little extra money won't won't come unwelcome. Will you quit me? 
making noise. I think I heard something. Leave these people blissfully unaware. Back to the brother's room. You saw nothing. Alright. Close the door for sound isolation. Let's go up this side, away from the bugs, shall we? Oh, we can't. Garrett, you can make that. I mean, I know the geometry is awkward. Uh, level designers putting in detail that interferes with gameplay. I don't think I've ever talked about this on this channel before, ever. It's like, never said a thing about. Ugh. You know, small, small details of geometry, these overlaps between the beams and stuff. It's just, just the first time I've ever brought it up, I'm sure. Alright, let's... Oh. Oh, that's, that was a single use. Okay. Pull the potion on his body, drop the flare, yes. Alright, we'll need to go to the potion shop to get more then, I guess. Because, wait, that was it. That was all. That was the only, the only potion we had there. Doesn't have a name. All right. Well, uh, we've dealt with the bugs. Let's hope he survives. We need to get that's bedroom. Where was we at? I mean, you don't need to go out the front door, right? Where was the balcony? Yeah, we can just get out this way. Maybe. Can I drop down safely? <sighs> I mean, this person might be able to rope down. Okay, it's coming back. Oh, we need to go out to the east, yeah. I still need to put the flare down, I'll update my map when I've done that. Hmm. Odd. Weird how these rods just sprout from beams, isn't it? Okay, it's having flare. He's gonna be coming back though, we need to wait till he's back in that way, I think, because I need this my shadowy corner to hide it. Quite sure. The lighting the flare will uh Make me quite visible. Okay, let's, uh, we've done that. Let's put an X next to the set to double, double indicate. Dawson, my roof still leaks. Apparently you didn't find the problem. Please fix it as soon as you can. And you'll need to bring your own ladder this time. Mrs. Smithers. Roof leak, huh? Can I get up to that roof? Is there? I'm gonna try. <laughs> Dang 
quite enough to jump from. Oh, that's not good. That's worse. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't. I can't jump here properly. Now I just kind of maybe vaguely sort of can. Oh. All right. I'm gonna reload that. Why do you make this so difficult? Well, is that wood? Where's my rope arrows? Oh, we shot it here, that's why I don't have any. Is that wood? Nope, it looks like wood to me, but it isn't. Maybe I can just jump from the rope a bit more easily? Well, certainly without hurting myself as badly. I wouldn't necessarily say more easily, but... Should be, should be doable. Also, they're using coloured lighting, the use of red lights is, is good. Definitely makes it feel more ominous. Is there a better way up? Oh. I mean, maybe we can just pick the, pick the lock? No, we can't just pick the lock. I feel like this ought to work. I'm not sure why it's not working. <laughs> there we go. Oh no. What? I mantled but didn't mantle? Turn the ambience way down again because it's just way too distracting. And the music. It's got way too much detail in it. Yeah, there is another window there, but how? Is that wood? No. It still does look like wood to me, but I guess it's not. I mean, it's kind of strange that the beams would not be wood, but. I mean, I could just make a note that we've got Smithers, Mrs. Smithers' house here. Hey. Smithers' house. Which is not necessarily plagued. But I don't know, I can't seem to get up. Let's go in here. One of the doors being left open. Oh, who are you? <laughs> dead, but apparently not a plague, or maybe you're maybe you're already completely dead. Alfred, you were right. One of the counts plays dirty. Better not to name names in this missive, but we know that he sent a trusted henchman to the town nearest to Kingsbridge. We don't know why, but we have reason to believe that he is plotting something. We just have to find something in writing that incriminates him, and we need a portrait of him. Then we must convince that hothead Eddie of the printing works to create a notice to hang on the wall in Kingsbridge. The people must know! Let's meet tonight in the crypts beneath the church and we'll sort out the details. Oh. You, hmm, one of the counts plays dirty? Find something written that incriminates him, take his sub-portrait, make a copy, then post it on the Kingsbridge bulletin board. Okay. Guess we're gonna have more work to do. Oh god, damn it, I'm getting stuck again. All right. So this guy's dead, I guess. To uh... those little lights are cool. What? Why isn't he a pagan? Pagany? 
sounds here. Oh. Because we got Pigony guys hanging out in the streets. Yeah, I can't see way over to, over to the... Get up there. But how? Like, mantling that wall, that bit of wall seems to be the only possibility, right? I mean, maybe we can find a key somewhere? He left a note for Dawson, whoever Dawson is. Hmm. So he's going out north. Coming back anytime soon. Hey guys, how you doing? Oh, it's nice and warm. Is, is there more than one guard patrolling here? Oh, I'm hearing lots of footsteps. I can't really tell. I have a feeling the lan lantern goes going in circles, right? Yeah, here he comes again. Well, that's good news for me. Yeah, that's going in circles are always easier to manage. So the potion shop is dead ahead. I can see the sign. Lost and found. It's this weird crapping on here. <clears throat> Hello, sir. Oh, I see. I had to bring things to you. Okay. Alright, let's mark that then. B. Lost and lost found. I guess we don't need to use two lines. He's planning a party. I could break down these icicles, but I'm not sure there's a reason to. Visit the potion shop. Okay, what do we got? Speed potions for 50, healing potions for 100, and invisibility for 200. Ratman potions, 100 gold each. New item, Ratman potion. When used properly, this potion will briefly turn the user into a rat. See what it feels like to be that small. Change your point of view. Look for lost coins on the furniture. You can even use it to get rid of rats. Just apply the potion to any rat, and poof, you become the rat. When the potion wears off, no more rat. You're still here, but that rat is gone. It's simple, fun, and hygienic, and only costs 100 gold each. So what are you waiting for? Get yours today. Huh. Interesting. I mean, can I... I mean, I guess I'm buying stuff, right? What else? It's the bug potion insecticide, 50 each. We barely have enough money for this stuff. Man, there's a plague. Anyway, I don't want the guards seeing me coming here, alright? So I'm going to douse the lights anyway. So you've got two healing potions available, one invisibility. Ratman potion sounds very handy. Wow, sounds very cool. We also definitely need the plague potions, though. You know, I need some more money. Which hasn't been very much around. Why are you just closing behind me? Um, like we're gonna have to spend the money we collect. 
Oh, I thought I had a loot go. Did I not have a loot go? Okay. Mm, something there. Probably just the wind. Okay, potion shop, lost and found. If we head east towards the church quarter, I mean, generally one would expect that uh, hemorrhoids have lots of money, right? That's that's their thing. Tithes. They like to take 90% in tithes. Now, this must be a corner without room brushing because I suddenly couldn't hear anything. I can't see how to get east from here. Easily. Maybe through the archway? Maybe it's as simple as that. Okay, we need more money. Let's let's put that as a big goal. Need. More money. Primary objective number one. Never mind what my objective list says. Then we can come back to the potion shop. Where's this other guard? There's no one who walks walks back this way from here. Can we climb up here? <gasps> oh, he's walking in circles too, okay. My mistake. At least the streets are quite dark and quite deserted. Ah, I see. I'm getting very dishonored vibes, honestly, from that. I don't know when this mi when this mission was from. I think it predates dishonored. Hello. Notice the subversive Petronilla Pamela stands accused of inciting panic and making false claims during a state of emergency. By order of Count Beardsley, she's been taken to Kingsbridge Prison there to await trial for her crimes. Right, so Petronilla, this is her house. Oh, we have a key, right? We don't need to pick this lock. In fact, that is the key for the front door, and it consumes itself. Things have been happening so fast, I've had no time to write in this diary. Some days ago, the plague arrived in Kingsbridge. Many have now fallen to the disease, and we have no current hope of a cure. I have been working feverishly to find a means of erad eradicating the plague. I have carried out dozens of experiments, but so far my researches have proven fruitless. I have even begun reading my grandfather's notes. Like myself, he was a scientist interested primarily in the biological world. Perhaps I will find something in his research that can help. Days of Plague. Eight. It has been over a week now since the plague arrived in Kingsbridge, and I am no closer to a cure. I have read my grandfather's notes, but there is little there of use in this emergency. He does note, however, that plague victims often attract swarms of flies and other insects which apparently feed on the infected and necrotic skin of the victim. He believes that these must first be removed if there is any hope of curing the disease, as they will inevitably reinfect the victim. Also among his things, I found a diary written by a sea captain and scientist named Horatio Archibald. He and my, great he and my grandfather were great friends and colleagues, and my grandfather often spoke of him. Apparently, Archibald believed he had discovered a cure for the wanderers, as he called them, those poor drowned wretches doomed to aimlessly roam the earth. He developed a potion and left several ampules of it with my grandfather. He lacked only the means to deliver his cure to the afflicted. But Archibald, sick of the plague himself, died shortly after arriving here. In honour of their lifelong friendship, grandfather had him entombed in the crypt. Determined to finish Archibald's work, Archibald's work, he interred the ample gules there as well until he could figure out a way to use them. He left them in a gated alcove, protected by a coded lock. Unfortunately, my grandfather himself died shortly after, and so had made no further progress in the matter. Perhaps this potion of Archibald's can be useful to my research in some way. I've certainly run out of other ideas. I must search for the code to that gate. Days of Play 12. I found the code for the gate among my grandfather's notes. It was simply the manner in which the wanderers died. I've examined the potion in the ampules, and I think it may hold the key. I must do some further testing, but this looks promising. Days of Plague, 15. Could the solution be this simple? I believe I've not only discovered a way to release the wanderers, but also Archibald's ampules may prove to be a cure for the plague itself. 
It appears that the plague has passed from one person to the next through the air, even in their very breath. It stands to reason, then, that, cu that the cure may be airborne as well. I have been trying to find a way to make the wanderers drink the solution, when all that is required is that they breathe it in. I believe I can modify some of the wind arrows sold in our local arrow shop so that their contents, contents act as a catalyst for article potion. Then, simply firing the arrows at the wanderers should release enough gas to rid them of their dreadful affliction. But I can't do it alone. I've never shot an arrow in my life. I'll ask Count Beardsley for the use of some of his archers. Beardsley has always seemed the most approachable of the city's noblemen. I'm sure he'll help. Days of Plague 17. I've prepared some wind arrows for the task and have them loaded into the machine at the arrow maker's workshop. All that remains is to add the potion from the ampules. However, if I choose to free the wanderers in this way, I will have no potion left for the rest of Kingsbridge. If only this method would provide enough gas to rid the entire city of the plague. But alas, that is not to be. Days of 18. Days of Plague 18, not Days of 18 Plague. Of course, how can I be so blind? I've had the ability to cure the plague all along. If I simply place the ampules into fire, their contents will rapidly turn to gas and disperse wildly. But my supply of ampules is limited, so I'll have to precisely calculate what location throughout the city would give the best chance of completing dispersal of the resulting gas. The only drawback to this method is that the vapour may not reach as far as the wanderers outside the town's limits. But it looks as if I have no choice. I simply cannot pass up this chance to free the city from plague. I'll just have to hope that it will reach the wanderers as well. I was going to say, does that not give me new objectives? It does give me new objectives. Right. Rid the city of plague. Optional. Uh, okay, so we're going to need to take notes there. So we have... Um, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, the rules of flies. Article. Wanderers. Drowned... Four drowned wretches doomed to aimlessly roam the earth. Uh, Ratio Archibald in the Crypt. Let's take notes here. I'll come back. I need to read that, so. Horatio Archibald. Entombed in Crypt. Part 1. Uh, interred the ampules as well. Decked by coded lock. Decoded is the manner in which the wanderers died. They drowned. Um... Ampules with him. Coded lock. Round. Hmm. Okay. So we've got arrows, wind arrows that we can put potion put potions in. Wind arrows at Let's put that on the map, actually. Arrow shop. Wind arrows at shop. Add potion? Question mark. I feel like we might need to do that to get at some of these play victims. And, uh... Place ampules in fire. Ah. Necessary locations. Strategic locations. I don't know which. Alright. Let's keep searching the house. Maybe she's got a map. What do you know? New objectives? You found a useful piece of information. Find three more and you will learn to find a map. What? That's odd. Why does this light up? Oh, that's a fireplace. Okay, so one of the one of them is Petronilla's place. Where where are we? Uh, I think we're here, right? C. Petronilla. Also C. Uh, let's let's mark here yeah, fires. We have one at C. Okay. Gonna be a lot of 
collecting potions and using them in various places. The Diary of Horatio Archibald. Scientific expedition to investigate native cultures in remote regions of the ocean. Day 42. The mission has been successful in its original scientific objectives, but we have recently stumbled on a problem that could have dire consequences for our civilization. We were returning to our home port, Snowaver, but stopped at the small island of St. Erasmo to bathe in the sea and stretch our legs a bit. That night I lay on the beach near a cave, damp and cold. The moon shone its pale spectral rays, and from the caves there came a strange moaning. Summoning my courage and two of the crew, I entered the cave in search of an answer. Suddenly, the whimpering materialized into a humanoid figure, slow-moving and disfigured. The sailors fled in fear. I stood petrified, unable to move. The figure continued its endless wail, ignoring me. Its skin had a deathly pallor that I had seen many times before. Having spent so much time at sea, I, I had seen far too many drowned men not to recognize that mottled blue skin, bloated face and broken blood vessels in the eyes. This man had clearly drowned. And then it dawned on me. I remembered a course at university about myths of the sea. The professor held that people who often drowned in who knows what distant places, and then carried by the current, were swept into oblivion. At the end of their journey, some may rise and walk, roaming endlessly in search of their eternal peace. He called such ones wanderers. It seems I had met one. I led it to the ship, hoping to find a way to release it from its torment. Day 47. We were almost to Snowyver when the crew fell ill. It must have been the Wanderer. It had brought the plague on board. I continued to examine the lost soul. Day 53. After several failed attempts, I may have managed to figure out how to release the Wanderers from their eternal roaming. I have created a potion containing fire, ice, lightning, and a pinch of moonbeams. When smeared on a patch of skin, this potion has a local healing effect. What I need now is to test the potion's ability to make a complete cure by having the Wanderer drink it. The problem is that I cannot get the Wanderer to drink it doesn't seem willing to open its mouth for me. Day 61. I'm as close to death as I've ever been. Soon the cough will become a rattle, and I fear for my life. I set course for Kingsbridge, where I hope to deliver my diary to Nicholas Parmelay, a fellow scientist. If, when I die, perhaps he can find a way to get the Wanderer to drink the potion. I've bottled the potion in several ampules, in the hope that if they work, Nicholas can distribute them to towns that need them. Well, if it works... Oh, we can relight candles. I couldn't relight the uh, ones on stairways. Okay, well, there's a... Hefty law dump. And uh, some information on uh, what, what we're trying to achieve. Also, there's a rat here. Let's mark that as well. This is the other reason it needs to be a bit bigger map. We've got so many, uh... So many annotations to make, and there's just no room. Because I think we could get into an interesting basement there. Oh, hello. That looks... That looks interesting. Hello? Someone there? Nothing here now. God, I didn't even see that guard. I had no idea he was there. Nothing down here. Hmm. Seems like there's nothing in here. I wonder though, this one's all icicled up. I wonder if I could break them. And get through to somewhere else. Oh my god, who's... what? Yeah, and we've got more important business to attend to first, sorry. Don't know if we're going to be able to, but... Not to try. No, okay, hang on. I can't make that jump in Thief 2. So that's not, and there's no... Oh, there is wood right there. Okay, hang on. I can maybe I can maybe do what I need, what needs to be done from here. Let's, let's get my sword ready first. No, no, I guess not. But there's two things I just realised. One, got an open window here. Let's check it out.
Oh, it's another player count. Philip Crawford. Alright, we are... Whereabouts? Here, right? D. Oh, we don't want D, we want... 3. Philip... Crawford. And he needs... Bug spray flares. I mean, I could put the flare down, I suppose. We don't need bug spray for him. Oh, how am I going to get down without hurting myself? I guess I can rip that. I heard something. Oh wait, is the guard up up here? <clears throat> That's not how to get down without hurting myself. Garrett, can you mantle when I try and mantle? Oh. Oh. No, you apparently can't mantle. Got these tiny little things. All right, so that needs to be further across there, and then I should be able to mantle that. Where, well, where is the guard? Is the guard here already up here? I don't know. <clears throat> oh, he's up here. Okay. So let's just take his his arrows then. Oh, it might be both. There might be a guard downstairs as well. Hmm. <coughs> well, it looks like I can get. I can safely get down. So let's take my rope. The other thing I'm noticing now. Do you see the banner there? The stallion in a gold field, surmounted by a crown, with a wreath around on a yellow and red. What I haven't done is check out notes on these guys, right? That must be Beardsley's place, that's his banner, right. Let's check out these guys. Audrey Ainsworth. You can see the banner outside his house. His painting will be easiest to steal. His negligence in his business affairs is bringing him slowly to ruin. There is therefore little surveillance present. Also the painting should be easy to locate. Bertram Beardsley. Unlike Audrey Ainsworth, Bertram Beardsley is a profiteer. He is described as a ruthless man, cold as ice. For this reason, stealing the paint painting shouldn't be too difficult. He would never believe that anyone would be crazy enough to try to steal from him. You can see the banner outside his house. Wait, a ruthless man cold as ice? Why did Petronilla think he'd be the most approachable then? That seems odd. Cuthbert Crane. And then also, if he's a profiteer, he would want money to help with anything, right? Or some... He'd want it to benefit him somehow. Cuthbert Crane. He has one floor. He loves everything to do with art. This is the mark of a refined man, gentle, intelligent, and attentive to the finer things in life. Stealing the painting from his estate will be very difficult. I think you'll find a lot of surveillance. Moreover, you will have difficulty locating the object in question. You can see the banner outside his house. <coughs> Alright, so... Uh, here, D. Is uh, Beardsley. Beardsley. Still need more moolah. I think I think robbing his place might be a good way to get some more uh, some more loot as well. <clears throat> we may also be able to get in through the cellar if we break the icicles. Uh, but then windows look approachable, so pot potentially, potentially. Alright, well, I am going to uh, end the episode here. Thanks for watching. And I'll uh, see you soon for the next one.